It's always an interesting project when you're placing signage into landscapes. This is something that cities do all the time, that highway patrols do all the time. We put signs into public places all the time, but the process of figuring out how to do that in a way that feels sculptural and poetic is maybe a little bit different than the process that you're going for when you're engaging directly with something like clarity and visibility. Wayfinding is an exhibition of sculptures that mimic public signs. There are four large billboard sculptures which contain questions that kind of anchor you emotionally throughout the project. There are eight double-sided text-based signs that ask people to notice the circumstances around them by reading sentences that change slightly over time depending on where you are in the project. There are four image signs that are the same medium size as those text-based signs. And then there are 16 small garden marker signs like you would see on a tree tag at a botanic garden that contain direct forms of personal address. The Pulitzer Arts Foundation as a museum we're always trying to work on projects that are meaningful to the artists that we work with, but also meaningful and resonant to the community and our time and place in history. Chloe Bass is a New York-based artist, currently living between St. Louis and New York City. And she primarily works in installation, performance, publication, and in social spaces. So the mood of wayfinding is a mood that I personally experience quite often. As an only child in New York City, I spent quite a lot of time in public space, sharing space in proximity with lots and lots of other people, but also having this emotional experience of being alone. And I think that that state of awareness that happens emotionally when you're simultaneously alone and surrounded by public life and public engagement is a really special emotional place for me. So I'm trying to recreate some of those contemplative moments that I had in my life through the Wayfinding Project. The four anchoring questions of the project, which are how much of love is attention, how much of life is coping, how much of care is patience, and how much of belief is encounter, are four invitations for you to enter into how you might think about being in the world, being in this project, or even having a conversation with someone that you love. These are open-ended questions that can lead to lots of big ideas, but they're also questions that slowly, in certain ways, directly and indirectly get answered by the texts that are on the signs, and then by watching people engage in these gestures of holding and tenderness that the image signs portray. There's a series of linkages that's made through the audio portion of the piece that uses some of the language from the signs, although not all, and ties that together with research that I was doing on the impact of gentrification on aging communities, some Google and Yelp reviews of the Pulitzer Arts Foundation, and some text that was drawn from the St. Louis's Mo to Own program website. What constitutes nearness? How far is too far, even if it's right next door? I've been stuck on this phrase for years, extending the boundaries of who we call our neighbors. I personally love wayfinding for many reasons. One, it's a public art exhibition. It's available to the public, sun up to sundown, free any day of the week. And I think it provides an opportunity a year plus into this pandemic where we've been away from loved ones and friends and have been stuck in our homes the past year that we can get out and have the opportunity to experience art. But also conceptually, the artwork itself really looks at human intimacy, particularly familial intimacy, and provides these opportunities for private reflection or reflection with your family and friends in new ways. It's as much about form and sculpture as it is about actually walking through and experiencing a poem. So I say to people that wayfinding is not a scavenger hunt. There are 32 signs on view and 16 of the 32, half of them are quite small. If you don't find every sign in the project, you're not having a lesser experience. That said, I did want to place things in a relationship to each other and to the bodies that move through this space in a way that feels more like choreography than maybe like an exhibition. I think of these signs as hosting the set for a play that hasn't happened. And you finish that play through the experience that you have when you're here walking through the environment.